always fun to give a little bit of magic to people on the street. Scott, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. You know, it's uh, Houdini would have been 144 tomorrow, uh, which is kind of gross. <laughs> I and, don't think he would have made it. <laughs> well, he'd be upset because they, they buried him uh, 90 years ago. Yes. But uh, Houdini was a really prideful guy, and he, he claimed he couldn't be fooled if you showed him a trick more than once. But about 100 years ago, a kid named Di Vernon showed him a trick that, that blew his mind. So I brought that for you this morning. Okay, cool. Please choose a card. All right, any card? And, yep. All right, I'm going to choose this one. And it's okay if I see it. It's not the kind of trick where I can't. Okay. So I'll take the card. It's the three of spades. Oh, that was easy. Nice job. So watch the... <laughs> I'm good. It's years of practice. <laughs> Vernon took the three of spades, took the card, placed it second from the top, under the top card. And he gave the deck a little wave. Okay. And the three spades melted up to the top. Oh! Yeah. What? Yeah, Houdini couldn't believe it. So, so Vernon did the trick again. Now, magicians are not supposed to do the same trick twice, but he took the card, he put it second from the top, he gave the deck a little shake, and it came back up to the top. What the heck is happening? There was no explanation unless all the cards were the same. Oh. But that's how I'm doing it. That's not how Vernon did it. Oh, so I'm okay. going to have you sign one of these cards okay. here. I brought a marker. <laughs> okay. I, brought, I, brought a, I brought a little cookie marker. All right. So it's it don't it's clicky. Don't don't write all over yourself. All right. Okay. Sounds good. You write, want to hold the mic? Write your initials. All right. All, all right. My initials there. What do I owe to the union if I'm holding the mic? <laughs> okay. Here you go. Thank you. All, right. all right. There is the JH. It's upside down. But there is the, the JH. So this is the only card in the world just like it. The card goes second from the top. Watch. Second okay. from the top. Second from the it top. goes under the top card. And Vernon gave it a little shake, yeah. and Houdini's card came back up to the top. What the that heck is, is happening? In all, Vernon did the trick for Houdini not once, not twice, but seven times. There it goes, second from the top. There it is. You can see it right there. Uh -huh. There's the signature. You can see the signature right, right there. It goes second from the top. Right. A little shake. Back up to the top. And for the rest of his career, Di Vernon billed himself as the man who fooled Harry Houdini. That was unbelievable. You have gotten us off to an awesome start. So are you ready to fool some people on the street? We're going to do it. And, and Houdini was famous for some really cool things. He was famous for being chained up. We're going to get chained up today. He was famous for communing with the dead. We're going to claim to do that. Wait, are we going to try and chain someone up here today, this morning, some commuter? Uh, well, if we say it on the air, they're going to hear it. Okay. They're going to say no. All right. So let's say we're going to have some fun with We're going to have some fun. All right, so all morning long, Scott Green's incredible. Where can people find out more information? What's your website that people can go to? You can go to www.thegreatscott.com if you're planning a family event or scottdoesmagic.com. I'm here with Rachel. Rachel, how are you doing this morning? I'm fine. How are you? Thank and, you. And where are you coming from this morning? From Gurney. So you're from Gurney? Yes. I got good news for you. What's that? The wet winter weather really won't affect Gurney. You're not going to get much snow tonight, okay? Okay, that's good. But Great. a lot of other people are. Oh, well, then they need to come to Gurney. Nah. <laughs> they need to go to Gurney. And Rachel's done. She's like, I heard there's no snow for me, and she's on out of here. Fun. We okay, got so Allie we brought off the street. How are you doing, Allie? I'm good. How are you? Doing very well. Did you think you were going to be doing magic this early in the morning? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, that's okay, Scott. What are we going to be doing here for this next trick? Houdini was obsessed with communicating from the great beyond, and, and every medium who he would test, he found to be a fraud. So today, we're going to try to communicate with Houdini's ghost, Ooh. Um, and we're going to be frauds ourselves this morning. Okay. So what's going to happen, we're going to, Ellie and I are going to channel the ghost of Houdini, you're going to channel the ghost of Gene Rayburn, and ask us three match game style match, questions, yeah. and we're going to hope Houdini will whisper the same answers to me and to Allie. If he does, we'll know that he's really here, or that we've faked it very realistically. So we're trying to match up answers here. That's so you, right. So, so if you would read the first question, I'm going to write down my answer, lock it in, and then we'll see what, what Allie says. All right, the first question here for the match game. Oh, amazing Houdini, because we're talking Houdini in the ether. Oh, amazing Houdini, you drove audiences so wild they would even throw their blank at you. So fill in the blank. What would they throw at you? They would throw your blank at you. That answer is locked in. I'm locked in. What's your answer, Allie? Uh, throw their uh, handkerchiefs. 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 All right, they'll throw their handkerchiefs at you. All right, that's Allie's answer. All right, are we ready for question number two? Question number two. Come All right, so you got handkerchiefs. All right, okay. Oh, legendary Houdini. Dumb Dora was so dumb. How dumb was she? <laughs> yeah, exactly. She was so dumb that she didn't realize that you were a magician. She thought you were shirtless and locked in chains because you were just a regular guy that was heading to the blank. So you're going to write down your right, answer. Okay. Houdini was a shirtless guy. Wait, I'm, I'm feeling something. It must be the ghost. It must be the ghost. <laughs> All right, so he's writing down his answer. She okay. thought that you were just a regular guy heading to the, ready for Allie's answer? Get it. I'm going to say mental institution. The mental Ooh. institution. Okay. So write down Allie's number there. So we have handkerchief. We get mental institution. institution. All right. Those are locked in. Shortcut in my bad handwriting. <laughs> there we go. All right. Question number three. Oh, incredible Houdini. ATMs, they didn't exist in your day. But if they had, your four-digit PIN number would have been... 
blank. So four digit pin number. Scott, you're gonna lock in your answer. Smell the magic marker. All right, he's speaking to me. Okay. I can feel it for sure. <laughs> All right, okay. and he's writing down on the number, and we're gonna go to Ali. Lock that answer in. Got it. Got it. All right. Got it. Ali, four digit pin number. 7524. 7524. All right, Scott is writing that down, 7524. Are you thinking we're going to do this right? I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If, if Houdini's ghost was speaking to us, these answers should be the same. He told, he told you that women threw his, uh, the audiences threw their hankies at him. Ooh. He told me the same thing. Well, then, incredible. <laughs> Dumb Dora thought he was going to the mental inst. Mental inst. What? <laughs> what? Three, three. But those could be predictable. Right. Yeah. I could have just guessed what you might have said. If Houdini really spoke to us, he would have told you what his ATM pin number would have been. 7524. He told me 7524. Two, four. How the heck? What the? Oh my Thank god! Thank you, Houdini. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. That was. About, are you amazed? I'm a little. I'm a little amazed. Are you convinced that Houdini was speaking to us? I'm gonna say yes because it's a wonderful Friday. Yeah, because <laughs> it's Friday. You haven't even got your coffee yet. I haven't. No, I'm gonna go do that right now. Well, you have earned it. Ellie, he'll speak to you too. Take it. <laughs> All right. And I'm guys, locking up Scott right now. Scott, what am I doing here? Well, you're you're locking my hands into these special handcuffs that Houdini never actually escaped from because these cuffs. And I don't know if you can see here, they hold the, 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 your hands away from each other so you can't reach the lock on the other hand. So okay. You, am, I, am I locked in? Is All right, that I got tight? the last clasp to do okay, here. Okay, that's, that's, is, that it, good? is it clicked in? Now it is. Right. Right, you are locked in. Tim, locked are you excited in. about this? I am Tim's so excited. All right, okay. And we are locked together, so we can't get out. Okay. Right. Now, it is impossible to reach the locks on these and to get out, and it's impossible to rip out Tim's arm for what he's being paid. <laughs> So, so will you will you drape the the? Yes. This is Houdini's actual beach towel, which he bought at the Champagne Meyer about 12 years ago. Okay. I'm yeah. Gonna put it down here. Hold it's gonna on. cover. Yep, yeah, and make sure it's real wide over there. All right, hold on. Real wide over our hands there. Is that pretty good? That's pretty good. Want to go a little wider? That's that should be just All right. fine. So Tim, are you nervous? Oh my goodness. I I hope I still have a hand after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So you're doing the magic. Well, I told you it was impossible to get your hands out of these chains, uh -huh. the way these chains are made. But if you'll whip away that towel, I want to show you. Although our hands are still locked up, we are no longer oh, locked together. Oh, my gosh! You're free! Well, sort, sort of. of. <laughs> the keys are right here, though. You didn't leave the keys far enough away. <laughs> okay. Before the next segment, we're going to make sure you get us out of here. All right, okay. Uh, well, wait, is Tim going to be locked up all day or what? Him will keep. But okay. I need to be free. <laughs> all right, okay, sounds good. In the next segment, we'll figure it out. Scott Green, where can people find all your information? www.thegreatscott.com for kids and family shows, otherwise scottdoesmagic.com. All right, Danielle, what do you think? Should we uh, unlock Tim or should we leave him like this? What do you think? He deserves it. You know I'm a Tim fan. You got to set him free, John. Oh, I'm here with Natalie. How you doing, Natalie? I'm good. How are you? You seem really excited to be on TV today. I am. Yeah? Very excited. Is, your, is this your TV debut? It is. Tell us about yourself, Natalie. Um, I'm from Rolling Meadows. I'm a server there. Um, and you're doing jury duty yeah, downtown. I'm here for jury How duty. did you get jury duty in Cook County? Because I still live in Cook County, so instead of sending me to the courthouse right down the street, they send me all the way to Chicago. All right, it's so you're fine. you're in Chicago. You got jury duty. It's yeah. your first day, right? It is. It is my first day. All right, very okay. Good. So we got here. Jasmine, we got Margie here. They're audience members. Scott, what do we got next? Well, what do you get for the man who has everything and has also been dead for 90 years? <laughs> right. Houdini would have wanted something with his name on it. He loves stuff with his name on it, and I've made a, a book of all the things I've seen okay. that, that have Houdini's name on it. So we've got obvious stuff like biographies, posters, we've got the magic kits, but then weird stuff like the security suit that keeps hospital patients in bed is named after him. Ooh. We've got the car escape device. If you drive into a lake, there's a Houdini car escape device. These are all named after Houdini. A bottle opener, Houdini beanie, yeah, all sorts of stuff. There's the Houdini small vegan uh, folding miniature card wallet with coin pouch. That's really? a real one. These are all real things that okay. have Houdini's name on it. You're going to pick one to give him. All right. And we're going to do some magic with that. Right. So hold out your hand. I'm going to put right. this on your hand, and I want you to use your thumb, open it to any one page. Okay. Take a peek. Take a peek. Okay. You got one? Yes, I got Great. one. Now, we're going to try to make it appear inside the box. Right. On the count of three, say what you what you picked. All right. Say the item you're thinking of. One, two, three. Houdini t-shirt. Oh, the box is empty. Oh. A t-shirt? That wouldn't even have fit in here. I'm sorry. Oh, you know what? It was in here, but it escaped. Where did it escape? Ooh. Oh my God! What? Well, what? I didn't. I didn't say it would be in the box. I said it would be on the table. Okay, the candles are coming off. That's a cake. Oh, you're going into the cake, and it is. Oh my gosh! How the heck? That is impossible. Wait, wait, wait! I want to show everybody, John. This is for you. It is a Houdini T-shirt in youth medium. Oh my God! That is absolutely incredible. Jasmine, Marjorie, let's give a round of applause to Scott Green and the little cake for me too. I'm your teacher. Scott, you were awesome today. Thank you so much. Thanks, John.